Let's do problem number 25. How many students must be randomly selected to estimate the mean weekly earnings of students at one college? So the question is asking for a sample size. So we're looking for n. So this is what we need in the problem. And we're looking for n to estimate a mean. And it says we want to be 95% confident. Okay, so 95%. that the sample mean is within $5 of the population mean. So that's going to be the margin of error, okay? So that is equal to five. And then it says the population standard deviation is known to be 63, that is sigma. So the margin of error is always given in these problems. Um, you know, in this case, it's the distance, right, between uh, the sample mean and the population mean. So that's five. Okay, that's five. So they'll always give it to you in, in some weird way. Sometimes it'll just say margin of error. But whenever you have a problem and you know, you're looking for a sample size, they always have to give you this. Now, once we have this, what we do with it is we find the width. And to find the width, we just multiply it by two always, every time. So two times five is equal to 10. And so now we're ready to go to StackCrunch. So because we're looking for a sample size for a mean, uh, and we're given the population standard deviation, we're going to use Z. So we go to stat, Z, one sample, and then we have with sample size, okay, with sample size, because we're looking for the sample size and we have the width. And then here we just enter everything. So the level is 95, the standard deviation is 63, and then we said the width was 10. Okay, so everything looks good. Click Compute. There it is. The answer is 610. So N, oh, it's up here already? <laughs> Forgot. There we go. So N is 610. Let's make sure it's one of the choices, and it is. It is. Good stuff. So the answer would be B. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.